dude will you look at this look at look at how huge this is we're gonna make a huge ouija board this boy is thick and big and it's probably gonna take a lot of resin but that's what these big guys are for so you know maybe i'll probably have to order more who knows but we're gonna make a big sunflower ouija board okay so let's you know get started on that okay so here is our big ouija board so i did take a piece of tape and just dabbed all around it to kind of get off any little fuzzies um because it is kind of hard to keep silicone clean i swear it just like attracts everything so i did go around doing this for a while to get it as clean as i can probably not gonna get everything but i mean i got it as good as i can so i do have a bunch of dried sunflower petals here that we can use. Um, I've also got these little random flowers, so I'm just going to throw those up there for now so that I can get out my sketchbook. So in my sketchbook here, I do have some pressed sunflowers that I've been drying for a little bit. Um, so that is these guys. So I have this guy that I've been drying. It looks like they're gonna fit. Also, this one who's a little stuck. Got this little guy. Here we go. I got this huge one. But I think these would look super cool in here, just using three of them. So they're all just gonna sit up here for now. So I do have my resin here. This is 10 ounces, um, five part hardener and five part of the resin. So we are just going to mix this up now. Okay, so I have my resin mixed up, my 10 ounces. So what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna pour a thin layer all over the top of this here. So I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do. I also kind of don't have an idea. Um, so this is going to take a couple days to complete, so it's kind of just going to come together as it goes. And this is, you know, my own personal piece, but let's see how much 10 ounces covers. It's okay if it's a super thin layer. I honestly have no clue how much resin this project is going to take, so... We are definitely just going to have to wing it. I do have about two ounces set to the side here um, that I was going to use with some inks. Maybe some metal flake. I'm not 100% sure. I just wanted to set them aside while I was doing this. So that when I did make up my mind, you know, I couldn't be like, oh shoot. So I do have it set aside. And these mixing cups are actually paint mixing cups that I got with um, paint huffers. Um, so they are, you know, for paint and such, mixing up that sort of stuff. But I found it works perfect with my resin because it just dries in there and I can peel it out. Or since it's like plastic, I can kind of crack it and peel off the old resin that way as well. They're just nice. You can get these cups honestly anywhere that, you know, mixes paint or sells paint. Okay, I'll come back to that later. Um, just going to use my heat gun. This is a new guy. And just kind of move around the resin a bit. Pop some bubbles. Perfect. Not a lot. I mean, of course, this is a bit less than 10. Using another silicone guy. Kind of move everything around. take these flowers and put the flowers in I think kind of hard to pick up I know I want a big one down at the bottom Ooh, on this side Push 
come in. And I am going to take just a couple of these other loose petals and kind of put them in there as well because I want it to be really full looking. background to be kind of like black and then maybe use like a bit of gold in some places. what I want to do is mix up more resin and do another layer because I can kind of tell on the edges here that I'm getting some weird space um, but first what I'm gonna do this is some gold metal flake that I do want to use so I'm just mixing up a bunch of it Okay, so I brought you down up close. What sucks is since this, um, this mold is orange, my black looks brown, but it's kind of like a light black. But as you can see, my flowers are floating a bit, so I do have to press them down. Um, that is annoying. Um, but yeah, I've just got the flowers in here. These are dried sunflowers. And yeah, but as you can see, oh, I guess it kind of filled up over there. But like... Right here, see how there's not enough resin in the board on this bottom layer, so it's making these weird pockets, and I don't want those pockets to show through. So I am mixing up another 300 milliliters, I believe, of resin. Um, so we're doing that now. 
Look at that, that's so weird. And yeah, we're just gonna pour another coat, push down these flowers, make sure they are set in there, and then we're gonna let it dry until we do the next layer. Okay, so here is how it looks after, oh gosh, like 10, maybe 15 ounces of resin, I want to say. So we are going to let it sit and dry, and then we will come back to it. And as you can see, that glitter and black kind of transparent really moved around. But yeah, I think this is going to be super freaking cool. I'm so excited for this. Okay, and we are back. So it's been a couple hours. Um, honestly, it's next day because I was at work and this board is dry. I don't know why I'm smacking it like that. Um, so I did mix up another 12 ounces here of resin and we're just going to do another layer because there is obviously some pieces still sticking out. Um, I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to add color. I feel like that should be soon. So we're just gonna start dumping this on and see how much it covers. Um, I think honestly I wanna mix in a bit of black. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna drop in some black and I'm not gonna completely mix this in. I'm just gonna go like that. So that it's kind of sorely. Here is just some white alcohol ink. I think I'm going to use some white. Just blob it in a couple places here. I'm going to use this guy and immediately mix that around. I want it to be kind of like smoky looking almost. Okay, so here is the next layer, and it is getting pretty dang full. So I do want to do one more layer after this one dries with just black metal flake. So hopefully that will be the case. So we will come back when this layer is dry. Okay, so we are on day three of this resin Ouija board, and pretty sure today is going to be the last coat. This is taking so much resin. Like, I was prepared for it to take a lot, but we're at, like, 30 ounces of resin or something like that. Maybe, maybe close to 30 ounces. <sighs> but yeah, so hopefully this is the last coat um in the actual mold and then we can unmold it tomorrow here it is it is looking beautiful just needs one more layer because i do still have some room here as you can see and these flowers need to be covered up i did shave them down a bit just because they were sticking out a little too far so hopefully i got them down far enough to where you know it won't be poking out of my project but let's put in the final coat as you can see i've got like a little bit of white and black and the gold it looks so cool i'm so excited to unmold this you have no clue how freaking excited i am okay here we go last and hopefully final layer 
I'm so nervous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Paint Huffer's Metal Flake. And this is Black Metal and Soul Glow. They're two black flakes. I'm going to take these and mix them into my resin. Actually, I still have a bit left in this one. I love the black metal metal flake. It's super pretty. Um, we're also going to take the soul glow, which is the same black flake, not the same black flake, but it's the same company black flake, but it's smaller. You can see that. Dump that bad boy in there. I don't really know how much I need, so we're going to start with that. And I want this to be like super opaque. Mm, need some more. Need some more of the soul glow. Perfect. saying you bowl it's malleable malleable there's it's no so tea <laughs> i want you to feel it first what if i dropped it <laughs> i might need your help because this is heavy ow look how thin it is that's pretty thin <laughs> you would think from this huge mold that it wouldn't be like Okay, wait, game plan? Maybe the edges? You think? What else would you do? Well, I mean, like, pull all the edges and then. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Seems like it's going off pretty easily. It is. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, 
Okay. I don't know the best way to do this. <laughs> because it's so thick. <laughs> Can you see it? No. You're gonna see it before me. <laughs> so we just like hold it down here, then you can pull the top. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of the heft was the mold. It's really just the mold. Whoa! Look at that though. Look at that. <gasps> Do you have to paint like the letters and shit? Yeah. Oh my god, that turned out really cool. Wait. That turned out like a lot better than what I thought it was gonna be. Cause I put you can't see any of my white. That's disappointing. I put like um the black black ink and white throughout <coughs> it oh my god that's cool <gasps> i don't know what color i'm gonna do the letters i'm doing yellow look at the sunflowers though yellow yellow letters i don't know i don't either i thought gold but i don't think gold would look good since there's so much gold this is <laughs> really cool just do white letters white i think White would, cause I tried to put white throughout here, but you can't see it. Like you kind of can mm -hmm. see, but the gold it floated to the top. That looks really fucking cool. <laughs> Do you like it? No, it's not. The sunflowers. The sunflowers turned out really cool. I was scared. I thought for sure the sunflowers would look ugly. You're not as excited as me! <laughs> what? Just look at it! Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> this is my new favorite thing. This is literally the coolest thing I've ever made. It's so big, it's hard to show off. Look at that. The sunflowers turned out super cute. Okay, so I have the Ouija board and we are ready to paint. So I see a lot of people using acrylics and honestly, I don't want to use acrylic. Um, I just don't want to. So I think I'm going to try something else. I'm going to use enamel. Now this is like automotive enamel. I mean, honestly, you can use it for anything, but like this is what you use when you're like pinstriping vehicles and stuff like that. So I have this enamel. I don't want to do a bright white because I feel like white would be too much, but at the same time, gold would be too much and tan would probably just be not what I want. So I think I'm going to make my own mixture of colors. So I'm just making sure I shake these up. Instead of how everybody just wipes it on and then wipes it off, I'm gonna actually paint in the letters because these are kind of indented. I'll take you down and show you that once we get going, but let's see. So definitely want it a bit lighter. We're gonna use some white and this is an oil-based um, enamel. So in order to clean it up, you need paint thinner. Um, Let's mix in a bit of tan. Let's mix in a bit of gold first, because I think that could be cool. Now I'm just going to use the back of a brush. That might have been way too much. Okay, so let's take you down lower and show you the depth of these because you can feel them okay so i don't know if you can see it is indented not like too much but enough to where paint will sit in there this looks so cool okay so yeah i think what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna take a brush like this and start over here i think gonna blob it in there this is probably gonna take longer than normal but I don't care I think it's gonna look cool 
filled in so what I've been doing is just taking a flat paper towel and some paint thinner just been getting the paper towel kind of wet and I'm just lightly rubbing on the board now this isn't completely dry um I don't want my enamel to completely dry because then it honestly won't come off <laughs> so I am just lightly wiping over the top and it'll start to smear everywhere don't worry about that we're just trying to get majority of it off because I will have to use a couple paper towels. But see, it's just like cleaning that up so quickly. Ta-da, he's got a face. <laughs> that now it's all foggy. I'm just gonna flip to another part of my paper towel. Keep wiping. And I'm not wiping super hard. This is honestly just going right over the top. Some more paint thinner. So a lot of people do a couple layers of their colors, but honestly, I kind of like how it's not perfect. Like I think that looks really cool. And I don't want it to be, you know, completely perfect. Like I think that looks really cool. I don't think I want it like full stark white perfect. But we are almost done cleaning it up. Okay, so you know how I mentioned earlier that you can't see the white? You actually can. Because this first layer that I did was clear, you know? And then I used um, the gold flake and then the bit of black tint. And then the next layer was completely clear too. You can see the white. And it's like underneath. It's almost like a smoky effect that it gives it behind there. It looks so cool. Oh, got a little air bubble. Still need to clean it up a little bit, but I'm going to let the paint completely dry and then buff the top of this. But yeah, that white behind it just gave it a real smoky effect. I think it looks super cool. And that metal flake. Look at that. All that glitter. Oof, probably gives you a headache. But yeah, this is looking super cool. So what I'm using now is just a Meguiar's uh, buffing compound and a microfiber cloth. And I'm just going to kind of buff the top just to make sure that, you know, it looks beautiful. My words here are white, and if anything gets stuck in there, it'll be kind of hard to get out. Um, so I'm making sure that my buffing compound is white as well. That way, if anything just gets like weird inside the letters, it won't matter because you won't see it. But this is honestly a lot, so what I'm going to do is just dab it around so it kind of gets used everywhere. And I've just got a little bit on the corner 
of a microfiber cloth just going to rub that around all over the board to make sure that it is nice and shiny And here is the final board outside. Of course, there's no sunlight um, because it's raining in this country all the freaking time. This looks so cool. Ooh! This is Jessica's designs. I hope you like it. What is Jessica's designs? I don't know what the fuck your shit's called. Jessica's it's designs. Channel. This is Jessica's YouTube designs. <laughs> the end. Okay, so as you can see, this is the finished Ouija board. It turned out freaking cool. Honestly, I'll probably hang it on the wall and make it like a really cool art piece. Um, I'm probably just gonna leave mine on my coffee table and. But anyway the finished piece and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sorry that it was a longer one but like this was a big piece this took three days and like 30 40 ounces in resin but I'm obsessed with how it came out and yeah I will be making a matching planchette but that will probably be a second video anyway thanks for watching if you make your own Ouija boards send me pictures because I really I'm really interested in these now and I've just been looking all over Instagram for more and YouTube but everyone seems to make little ones so I want to see you know big Ouija boards this is full size so yeah thanks for watching um I'm gonna go summon some demons now <laughs> anyway bye <laughs>